There are two local dads and two hockey players who suddenly found themselves in the middle of a life and death situation. And what happened next was a timeout that these men will never forget. Devin Skillian with their story. Huh. Greg Kolefsky and Jeff Zampi are friends off the ice. Their kids are in hockey and school together. But that night in December, they were on opposite sides playing in a league playoff game. I hit the ice and saw Jeff. I was pretty pumped because like when we play against him, sometimes he's not there. I and mean, I think we skated over to center ice and chatted with each other a little bit. Yes, for reasons that will become clear soon enough, it was a good thing Jeff was there. Greg found himself laboring on the ice, having trouble catching his breath. He chalked it up to his asthma, but then as he headed to the bench in the third period. Lightheadedness, nausea, and I kind of remember thinking like, I'm going to pass out or throw up. <laughs> That's what I thought was about to happen. So I leaned my head down um, and it kind of rested it on the boards. And that's the last thing I remember. Someone on his bench said something's not right. And so we all kind of looked over and then he was like, no, something's not right. Jeff skated to the bench and recognized the number of the player lying face down. Greg had no pulse. Jeff started doing chest compressions. You see, when Jeff isn't playing hockey, He's a pediatric cardiologist at Mott's Children's Hospital. But he was just part of the answer. You may know hockey players can be obsessive about their equipment. And sure enough, it was a piece of gear that made the difference on that day. But it wasn't this one. It was this one. And the AED came, and um, we hooked it up pretty quickly. The AED, the Automated External Defibrillator. They are now standard wall art in a lot of places, just waiting to be needed. Once it's turned on, advise a shock. Evaluating heart rhythm. It tells you just what to do. Delivering shock. We deliver the shock and then um, uh, he didn't immediately re regain a pulse, which is pretty normal. Sometimes you just need a little bit more time. So we just kept doing chest compressions, probably another two or three minutes, and then you could feel his pulse come back. Greg's heart attack was the variety ER doctors refer to as a widow maker. Even in a hospital setting, it can prove fatal. Jeff was practicing what he would say to Greg's wife. Even with a cardiologist on the ice there to respond, without the defibrillator, he couldn't have done much better than to have a trained cardiac doctor on the ice, but you couldn't have done it without the AED. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, there's a lot of things, like I said, a lot of things had to go well, um, and luckily a lot of them did. So what about those moments when there was no pulse? Greg doesn't offer this story right away, but eventually you get to a poignant recollection. After I passed out, like the next thing I actually remember is uh, I was getting on to an airplane and I'm walking down the aisle and it's completely empty, no one but me. I'm going down to find my seat. I get to my row and uh, go sit down in my seat and it's like super sunny, bright, beautiful day out. And I'm just waiting there for the flight to take off. Um, and then you came down the aisle uh, towards me and you were like, hey dude, this isn't your flight, follow me. And uh, I just got up and followed you. And the next thing I knew is when I woke up and you and my teammates were over me helping me out. No, it was not his flight. You just want to keep pushing, 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 but it's like, go step by step. <laughs> like, yeah. With a stent now implanted, Greg today feels great, eager to play again, in fact but neither the patient nor the doctor will ever pass an AED on the wall again without notice. And now, perhaps because of Greg and Jeff's story, you'll notice too. The simplicity of AEDs is why they're so successful at saving people's lives in this type of situation, for sure. One of those things that you only notice that it's even around when it works. Absolutely. When, and when you've needed it. You know, and I've never used them before. So, I oh, mean, really? oh no, yeah, I mean, this is- Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. Wait.